what's up and welcome to the unofficial NCLEX podcast. I am your host, Katie Cleaver, and this is episode 68. The title of this episode is Use Clinical Decision Making and Critical Thinking in Situations Related to Security Planning. So, clinical decision making is really important with security planning because the people planning evacuations and, you know, plans are typically not clinical staff. They're people, that's not their expertise. Their expertise is maybe security in general, um, or, you know, manage, you know, maybe the security department. So you you really have to have clinical staff um, helping them out with these decisions. You know, what is realistically the best way to get a ventilated patient from point A to point B w- with elevators down? You know, those kinds of things. What are, what's the medications and the must have absolute last resort things I need? How do I, how to practically, wh- what kind of patients can be moved quickly and easily? And which patients do we only move if it is they're going to die if they stay where they are kind of a situation. So um, I want to encourage you to check out episode 59 where we talk about triaging patients specifically, but that's an aspect of of security planning. You know, if we need to evacuate, um, what patients do we triage home as and just get them home and what patients do we find someplace for else for them to go? What kind of, what, what evacuation principles do we need to know? Like, um, evacuating people horizontally before vertically so moving from one side to the of the the same floor like the sixth floor moving from the east side to the west side and then down you know it depends on the situation and the threat but it's much easier to you know move people um, horizontally than vertically so we want to do that first Um, another aspect is knowing how to use specific equipment quickly to transfer patients things like med sleds transport ventilators ambu bags and we really need to prioritize that patient equipment so our critical thinking and our clinical decision making is essential in planning how that will practically work you know how long will batteries last do we have on IV pumps and do we really what do we absolutely have to have on a pump uh, and you know, those kinds of things. Important to sit at the table with security in planning those things. You know, there's different, in, you know, different institutions handle different um, threats differently because there may be different areas of the country, uh, different size of a facility, maybe a different size of um, a city that they're in, but things to consider. Newborn nursery security is a big one. Bomb threats active shooters, weather alerts, you know, you know, hospitals in Florida have to worry about hurricanes, but me from the Midwest in in Illinois, I didn't have to, we didn't have to really worry about hurricanes, but we had to worry about tornadoes, you know? So there is stuff that is dependent upon location and situation. So it's not a one size fits all deal, I guess is how you want to say that. So That is why it's important to use clinical decision making and critical thinking in various situations that are related to security planning. So that concludes episode 68. Thanks, guys. This has been another episode of the unofficial NCLEX Prep Podcast. To get the massive PDF guide that goes along with this podcast, head over to nrsng.com slash NCLEX Prep. That's nrsng.com slash NCLEX Prep. That's a free download that you can take with you anywhere, and you can basically have this podcast in text format. Our goal here at NRSNG.com is to give you the tools and the confidence that you need to succeed in nursing school, on the NCLEX, and in your life as a nurse. We want you to succeed, and we want you to become part of this movement of nurses that is dedicated and motivated to learning and becoming the best nurse that they can possibly be. My name is John Haas, RNCCRN, and I'm the founder of NRSNG.com, and I sincerely thank you for being here, and I'm so proud of you for taking this step in your journey. Now you know what time it is now. It's time to go out and be your best self today. Happy nursing.